In this video, I'll teach you how to find the equation of a perpendicular line. So I showed you the formula for the slope of a straight line before, where it equals the rise divided by the run. And unfortunately, that always isn't the case. And we can use the equation of one line to determine the equation of a perpendicular line. We do this by representing slope as m perpendicular, that's the slope of the perpendicular line, is a negative reciprocal or negative 1 divided by m. We can use that equation to solve a question like this. You see the red line is increasing and its formula is y equals 3x plus 1. And the blue line is perpendicular to the red line where we see um, that we don't know the equation here. And we do know that it's perpendicular because all of the angles that they intersect at are 90 degrees. So we're asked to find the equation of the blue line. And just as a hint, it is perpendicular to the line that's in red. So let's use the red line formula that we know and drag it over to the side. y equals 3x plus 1. So this tells us a couple things. We first know that the formula of the slope of the red line, or m equals 3, because that's what is in the equation. And we also know that the b value, or y-intercept, b equals plus 1. So now we're going to use these values, and really the y-intercept isn't important for us in solving the slope in the equation of the perpendicular line, so I got rid of it. Let's look at the slope of the perpendicular line in blue. m perpendicular equals the negative reciprocal, or negative 1, divided by the slope of the red line, which is 3. So the slope of our perpendicular line is negative 1 third, we do know that looking at this graph, and I'm going to give you the point here, when we look at the graph, it is going to be b equals 7. So we take the perpendicular slope, we take the y-intercept for that, and we're going to write out the actual equation of the blue line here on the side of the graph to be y equals negative 1 third x plus 7. So I hope that video helped. If it did, please be sure to give us a thumbs up. Let us know in the comments below video ideas you'd like to see. And please subscribe to the How To Scholar for more how-to videos.